Who is the best godly in ultimate tower defense? And what godly should you get? All right, guys. So they're going to be showcasing every single godly in the game. And of course, guys, I'll be letting you know which godlies you should get depending on how far along you are in the game. Let's get it. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's get it. First up, we got Goku Rose. All right. Let's take a look at his stats. 722 damage with a 2.3 cooldown. All right. Now, he doesn't have the worst AoE. And thankfully, his cooldown isn't bad. But, uh, I'm gonna be honest guys yeah I don't really recommend him I mean if you end up with him by accident it's not bad but as far as him being a meta unit it's not really but like he he will kind of help you out on um uh, beating some of the map but like I really can't recommend him so let's just go show you his final stats real quick all right so his next upgrade guys he's gonna have a thousand damage again quite a bit less than Whis. again Whis is only 600 more gems than him so if you are going the gems route do not do not spend your gems on him but if you get him by accident from the gold banner it's not the end of the world so uh, let's go max him out there we go 35 and then oh wow his last upgrade is 3800 so we need one more kill bang he's doing 66 all right 100 and then you can play okay you can place three of him though so that's a little bit nice but overall i'd say kind of more of a mid unit all right next up we have colossal titan all right now he's another godly of course 2000 damage at the start but a fast cooldown he reminds me a lot of whitebeard all right except of course guys he doesn't have whitebeard's ability so uh definitely not quite as accurate but uh definitely similar to whitebeard all right let's get his next upgrade so 1.8 oh it's cooldown does go down guys if you're taking a look it looks like his damage is not going up that much 5,000 damage considering how much he's costing that's definitely not amazing but i mean i can't say it's terrible though. but uh, i would say he's definitely better than a lot of mythics but because you can only place one and he's so expensive I, I can't really recommend him past like maybe like once you beat all the stories or something all right 9,000 for 1.3 thankfully he does get very fast and of course guys if you have whitebeard whitebeard is basically 100 percent better than this guy not gonna lie all right and then final 20,000 but a very very fast cooldown guys 1.16 cooldown is crazy but because you only place one he's only doing 20k it's hard to recommend him. all right next up guys we have our boy polnareff all right now polnareff you can place multiple of him you can actually place two and he has this like really weird like bursty aoe type effect which is actually pretty cool I'm not gonna lie all right as far as how many times it hits the enemy i think it hits 10 times that's what it looked like it hit that last guy so we'll verify that real quick see how many times it hit all right so it looks like it is hitting yeah oh that hit less time all right three oh wow that barely increased the damage barely increased as well but it is decreasing the cooldown which is nice and he also does have aoe as well which is very very convenient all right bang 1000 and then 1900 but again he's hitting quite a bit of time but well, look at this he completely destroyed that enemy so not bad considering a double placement all right next up guys we have the colossal titan now if you take a look he actually has a fast cooldown as well now if we're comparing the titans together i'm gonna be honest colossal titan is way better like way better and they're the same price wow literally just basically a better version he does have slightly less range though so i guess that might not be ideal for some people but he also does have an ability nuke so depending on the level it's gonna basically i believe it starts off with about fifty thousand damage it's very very nice so first upgrade is gonna jump oh and the cooldown is going oh wait the cooldown oh okay so and he you can sell him after you nuke guys just a heads up that's the one nice thing about him compared to whitebeard is the fact that you can spank that you that's very nice for story all right 2.5 so it goes to 2.14 and then it stays there which is really weird that kind of confused me and then it goes all the way down to 1.78 cooldown for 49,000 damage but compared to the armor titan definitely way better all right and then of course guys we have gold and Shenron who boosts the enemy's damage. Normal Shenron boosts the enemy's damage by 75%. So you can see he's not doing 35%. And then this guy is doing 887 battles. All right, let's go check out the next godly. Also, heads up, guys, my Colossal Titan does have discounted on it, which is the uh, recommended um, one for it. So you can spam it more often. And so normal prices will be double these. So it's normally going to be 4,000 to place. So just keep that in mind, guys. And I do believe his damage is set to 10x this damage, though I'm not 100% sure on that. But I do believe that starting off nuked is 50k. Also, mine has a higher prestige than normal as well, but that doesn't affect things that much. All right, let's go take a look at the next units. We got Madara, Berserk, Anya, Jotaro, and Luffy, everybody's favorite godly. All right, here we go, guys. We'll just do normal mode for now. Why not? And let's go start off with Luffy. All right, now Luffy used to be the go-to godly at the start of the for like a lot of people, and I believe he actually used to maybe be one of the best damage units in the game. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, he is actually still very, very good. Look at that, guys, a thousand damage. Now, of course, guys, Whis is way, 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 way better than this guy. Wow. Okay, he's struggling already on, like, wave one. Dang, man. All right, maybe, uh, okay. We'll get another one down. And you can place two of him as well, which is nice. First upgrade. Wow, that upgrade's kind of a scam. Only 50% more damage. Not recommended at all. But 2.5 cooldown is more than Whis, at least right now. 
We'll see if his cooldown actually goes, gets any lower, but I don't think it does. It's, it's still pretty fast, but it's not crazy good. All right, wave skip. All right, same cooldown, 2,000 damage, and then we'll get one more hit in, and then 5,000 damage. All right, and then one more hit in, and we'll get this guy. Bang, 9,700 damage. So overall, guys, Luffy is definitely a good, a decent godly. Um, he's gonna help you guys a lot gold farming wise, but he's only good for classic mode, and he's not like meta for infinite mode. Like I wouldn't even bother bringing him for infinite mode. Not gonna lie. All right, next up, guys, we got Berserk Gut. All right, this guy is a lot like Luffy. All right, but he's doing less damage, same cooldown, but he also has bleed. So he's actually not a bad unit to get. Now I don't remember bleeding makes the enemies faster. It doesn't look like it does, but uh, this guy's actually very good. He does have a lot less range than Luffy though, so keep that in mind. Um, which isn't ideal for a lot of things. I would just put Madara there for now. All right, here we go. Next upgrade, 700 damage. Now the upgrades on Guts don't really matter that much. I do believe he double hits as well. Yeah, he does double hit. So he's actually doing right about the same amount of damage as Luffy with less range, but he does have, um, uh, he's actually doing more than Luffy. Wow. So he's basically Luffy with less range, but bleed as well. So honestly, I might, I'm gonna be honest. I think he might be better than Luffy guys. Guts is not a uh, bad unit to get. Highly recommended actually. All right, let's go sell Guts. Check out our next unit. We got Madara. All right, now Madara, kind of an expensive unit. All right, it's gonna cost you a solid 7,500. But the nice thing about Madara, oh my gosh, we're um, uh, on the struggle bus. Let me just get one of these guys popping off back here. Get some upgrades because I know Madara is very pricey. All right, hopefully that's going to be good. All right, Madara has a pretty big AoE. Look at, all right, and multi hit as well. So yeah, it only says 5,000, but you can see it's, it's definitely hitting like, let's see here, one, two, three, at least three times. All right, double the damage and better cooldown as well. The cooldown honestly isn't that bad, all things considered, considering the attack actually kind of lasts a long time anyway. All right, next upgrade, 1900 all right bang. bang it's basically just one shotting everything right now so i believe there's like four or five hits and that's quite a bit of damage as well to go along with all those hits but the price is crazy man oh my god yikes all right can we afford it oh my gosh we still need another wave to get all right here we go let's get the next upgrade 30,000 5.8 cooldown dang man madara i'm gonna be honest definitely one of the higher damaging units in the game and i'm gonna be real i think madara might be better than a lot of those ultimate units i ain't gonna lie <laughs> madara is pretty lit madara just so freaking expensive it's crazy it's gonna take us even another wave to max it out all right here we go Thirty thousand damage all right let's get this next upgrade real quick sorry we had to reset there because uh we had a little bit of an issue all right here we go let's get it bang 57 and multiple hit as well i think this is like the most damage in the game i think it's four hits one two three yeah, three or four hits that's a lot of damage guys madara honestly definitely one of the better godlies to get but madara does miss a lot i will be honest that is the one problem with madara so, um, there's gonna be a lot of enemies getting through your defense if you use only Madara's, unless you have, like, a bunch of slow units and stuff. All right, next up, guys, we got our boy Jotaro. Now, we took a look at Jotaro Divine, so, uh, we're just gonna time stop. There we go. Pretty much the same thing as Divine Jotaro, but I believe just, like, less damage, like, 1900 damage instead of, uh, Jotaro Divine. Now, honestly, guys, this guy is good enough. All right, I believe you want to bring him, and then I think it's Dio. Him and Dio is, like, the perfect combo, uh, to have. All right, he's still not a bad unit, though. Like, I mean, he's still doing a good amount of damage, so not, not a bad unit to have. Very good for infinite modes, can get you, like, a little bit extra weight, etc. Not bad at all. Then we have our girl Anya. He's actually really good, guys. Not only does she do damage, but um, basically she has a chance to insta kill the enemies. It's called turning them into a puppet. And she is one of the few godly units that guys is that is 100% meta. All right, very very good unit to have. Unfortunately though, she does require a lot of RNG. However, that RNG is based on like how um uh, low the enemy's health is. So if you can get the enemy's health very low, the RNG for her is not that bad. So overall, guys, she's definitely one of the best godlies in the game. Highly recommend you get her and uh, Madara as as well those these two are some very great units to have all right here we go let's get it started all right let's check out our next unit all right we're gonna start off with the worst godly in the game frieza oh my gosh i think i used to block people who use frieza look at this look at this it makes the enemies go faster it might be bug though right now i'm not gonna lie i think they might have patched it is this let's see if the enemies actually get faster i'm honestly not sure anymore they, they might have patched it dang dang let me uh let me see if i can test this theory all right, we have a bunch of enemies coming out. All right, bang. All right, let's see if they're actually moving faster. The answer to that question is honestly, not really. I want to die. I don't really think it does. Yeah, not really. So I guess it no longer makes the enemies faster. So I guess is uh, Frieza meta again? Whoa, how many Frieza's can you play? Dang, guys, I think Frieza might be meta again. Wow, guys, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Because I, I don't think it makes the enemies any faster. Look at that. Does it? No, it doesn't. Like legit. That's crazy. How many can we play? You can play three. Yo, Yo, 
Oh, man. Maybe we shouldn't have been sleeping on Frieza. Dang. The damage is definitely low, though. Not gonna lie. So uh, let's go see how low it gets. All right. 991. All right. Not bad at all. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. We got another upgrade. Now, wow. 1783. That's a one-shot kill on all these guys. Not bad at all. We'll take that. I think it's multi-hit. Is it multi-hit as well? One. Oh, is that just a glitch? One. Okay. That one was not multi-hit. Oh, man. We can't die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Don't die. Oh, my gosh. Give me a second. All right. Here we go. We got enough money for our next guy. Let's check out Gojo. Uh, Gojo has that like really weird AOE situation. But the problem is he's kind of expensive at $500 and he's only doing 400 damage. So he's like a better version of Piccolo, which is a bit unfortunate. I kind of feel like they disrespected Gojo and they should definitely do like a um, uh, Gojo Divine. I think that would go hard because this guy definitely like, what is this damage guys? Like, can, can we just get a Gojo Divine already? Because this is ridiculous. Look at his damage. It is so low. I, I can't in like any sense of the word, like recommend getting this guy. Like not at all. So uh, overall guys, I think Gojo's kind of an L. Like, I, I'm going to show you his final stats real quick. But uh, yeah, 3,000. And I think you can place three. Let's see if you can place more than three. But like, that's just very low. It, it's just not worth it. Even though his AoE is hard. Like, like his AoE goes crazy. All right, next up, guys, we have Car. Again, she's like 0-2 in this game, but worse. The nice thing about her, though, is her cooldown gets really low. Like, she gets a really fast cooldown, 0.35. So that can be kind of nice. But her damage is so low, I don't even think it matters that much. I'll just get... Oh, wait, we, get, we can get one more upgrade on her. 0.25 cooldown. So very fast cooldown but uh the damage is so low it doesn't really matter that much but she's still pretty good unit guys just no i don't think she has aoe either yeah no aoe either so uh yeah she is what she is not that great though all right sasuke i think sasuke is like naruto in this game oh wait maybe not i don't know who sasuke is a better version of okay, maybe it is a better version of naruto oh my gosh are we gonna die again oh please no not again not again not again okay we survived barely gee that, that just shows you how good these godlies are guys oh my god wow faster cooldown looks like it's hitting two enemies at a time oh man this this is not good yeah these uh these godlies are kind of mid guys i think honestly all these godlies on my roster right now yeah they're kind of a big yikes i'm not gonna lie not gonna lie but we're gonna showcase them anyway not great unit there okay next up guys we got um uh, yoshikage kiryu who has like this weird bomb ability with detonate which does a good amount of damage but nothing too crazy all right let me get some of these so we don't like die die all right we need a wave skip here we go come on we don't want to die here not like this all right one more wave skip and we should be good to go yeah they have no hp so yes guys even if you have all godlies it doesn't mean you're gonna do amazing in this game all right we need one more wave skip all right, now we can afford our G Yoshikage Kiryu 3.5, and I believe it's 10,000 damage on the detonate with no AoE. So not bad so far. I mean, it's, it's a good bit of damage, but um, it leaves a little bit to be desired damage-wise. But it is a godly, so I guess it can't be too, too OP. All right, then let's see what the bomb does now. 15,000 damage. All right, and you can like hit it on multiple enemies. Like, you see that? And they'll both blow up at the same time. Bang. There you go. Not, not terrible, but not crazy good. All right, let's get his next upgrade. It's going to cost us 11K. All right, here we go. 27,000 damage now. All all right, not bad. All right, we got some money saved up. So max stats, guys. Wow, okay, okay. 969 for 2.5 cooldown single target, though. Hey, that's not. That's actually not that bad, guys. Dang. All right, there. There we go. All right, then we got our boy Muzan. All right, Muzan is a lot like uh, Gojo. All right, he got that um, uh, AoE. You kind of want to put him on... I don't know where the best place to put him is. Sometimes you can place it, like, inside. Yeah, this is the best place to put Muzan. All right, there you go. He's going to hit, like, this nice, like, AoE like that. All right, and it's kind of... That's a pretty good damage. Damage 4,500. Oh, wait, that's a lot of HP. Oh, uh, this might be. Can we not die again? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Give me a second. All right, here we go. Let's get it. We got Crimson Doe Flamingo next. We'll show up Muzan in a second. I just get some money. Okay, he's kind of weird, but yeah, he got bleed and sticky. This guy is a meta unit in the game. Very recommended. And you can place uh how many? Three, four, five. Yo, yes, sir, guys. You want to get discounted on this guy. That is the best blessing for Crimson Doe Flamingo. I mean, the best trait. All right, well, let's go to showcase his max stats real quick because I know you guys don't have all day. Max stats, 11, not really getting him for the damage. I'm not going to lie. If you're getting him for the damage, you're, you're making a mistake. <laughs> all right, can we not die to these guys? All right, next up, guys, we got the beast. Dang, look at this guy. This guy is made for his insane range. He's kind of pricey, though, not going to lie. But besides that, his range is crazy, but that damage is kind of mid. 6,000 damage. Oof, man. Ooh, ooh. Again, he's pretty much only good for that uh, that crazy range. So uh, let's go make sure we don't die real quick. And look at look how crazy this guy's range is already. It's already um uh, 6,000. I mean, 6,000. 40. All right, here we go, guys. Bang! 
22,000 damage for 50 range, 3.7 cooldown. I don't know if there's any good unit to compare him to, but uh, he's pretty good, except for the fact that uh, most times you need um, uh, SPA and damage, not range. But other than that, he looks pretty sick, so uh, dubs on that. All right, next up, guys, we got Gara. You can place three Garas, and what Gara does is, okay, it's gonna be hard to see. Wow, Gara's damage goes hard. 8,000 damage? Oh, a 20 cooldown. Oh my gosh, what? I will showcase Gara later, but Gara's busted, and it is a meta unit. All right, let's go take a look at Muzan then. All right, here we go, Muzan. Let's get it. Now, Muzan is a lot like Piccolo and stuff. He has like this uh, cone AoE. Now, his damage does go hard though. Look at that, guys. Oh, 1,200 damage for two. I believe he was one of the first godlies in the game. Very dang good unit, guys. But compared to like Divines and Ultimates, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's go uh, get a wave skip here real quick. So we can actually um, uh, afford this max amount. All right, on the wave skip, hang 22,000 damage. Not bad at all. 1.9 cooldown. Pretty dang good unit, guys. But uh, I don't know if I would... If, if I got him by accident, but I don't think I would like say he's meta or anything, but he's not bad. All right, la okay, next up we have... Uh, oh, this is one of my favorite combos. Little Naruto, you can play two of them, but what he does, guys, is he's gonna buff the range. You see Little Raritor's Aurora? Like, he basically just makes the range on your units go insanely hard. And if you upgrade him, he just gains range. So now Beast Titan can have 57 range, which is pretty sick. All right, next up, guys, we got our Gara. Now, Gara has a very low, like, slow cooldown, but really good damage. Look at that, guys. 100. Okay, we'll just put him on strongest. Oh, actually, wait. We're gonna put, um, uh, I'll, we'll put a few of these guys on strongest. I want to see show you what they do, because, and we have, okay, Mummified basically, it, inst like, slows the enemies down for so long. Like, that is a very long slowdown. And then, of course, guys, if you have a max level, it becomes a boss killer. Look at that, guys. And you can place three of them, which is crazy. Crazy good. Really good unit, guys. And very meta for infinite mode because of how long the mummified effect lasts. It's pretty insane. Look at that. Uh, I don't think the mummified effect slows down the unit, though. I think it's just that insta slowdown, and then it stops. But very good unit. All right, here we go. Bang. All right, let's check out our boy Thanos. I think Thanos was the first godly. Uh, I'm trying to remember, but uh, <laughs> what, what is that, guys? What is that? All right. Well, I'll show you guys what Thanos really does. All right, this is what Thanos does. So uh, basically what he does is you have to wait. You have to upgrade him, I believe, to the last upgrade. So we should probably do that now before it's too late. So you want to get him all the way up to um, uh, his last upgrade. And that's when his ability starts to take effect. All right. Oh, man, we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. We have to sell this guy real quick. No. Oh, wait. No, we're fine. We're fine. All right, give it a second for another wave skip. All righty. All right, so his last upgrade costs $5,000. And this is where the magic happens. All right, so we're going to get the upgrade. And basically what happens is whenever an enemy is about to reach the end, Thanos is going to snap. All right, you see enemy, and then what happens then is it kills half of your unit, but you insta clear the wave. So very meta for infinite mode and very busted OP guys. So you definitely want Thanos in any infinite mode run. All right, next up we got. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh wait, this is not good. Diavolo, insane damage, but look at that cooldown. The cooldown is also insane as well. And Diavolo is also the most expensive godly in the game. I think he's actually the most expensive unit. Actually, it is the most expensive unit in the game too. All right, you're gonna see the cost just goes insane. I don't understand. 14.3 cooldown for 45,000 damage isn't the greatest, um, especially considering the cost isn't like deep at all. So uh, it is what it is, guys. I think Gara is definitely better in my opinion. Like Gara is just a better version of Dia on Diavolo. But here we go. The cooldown is going down to 10.3, but look at that cost now. 70,000 for the next upgrade. So uh, I'll see you guys in a few waves. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. They're getting passed again. Time for another Thanos. Now you can Thanos snap, I believe, five times. Very convenient. All right. But I'm for Oh no, we lost our Diavolo. No. All right, let's check out unit before Diavolo, we got a Hurt. Another high cooldown unit. All right, this guy you can kind of use instead of Luffy, but you only place one of him, so uh, he's not a bad unit. I just say get Luffy instead. He's just not that much better than Luffy for him to be worth it, but uh, it is what it is. All right, next up, we got um, a Rage Drago. It's supposed to make the enemies move faster, but that part doesn't work. Instead, it makes some of uh, all your towers do 10% more. And then we have blue days, which makes the enemies very slow, which is very, very nice. And you can see the both of those dragons. All right, flying across. Or I guess the, uh, there we go. Looking good. All right, let's get this guy in the back. And then we can start upgrading our Diavolo again. Just put him on strongest. And he's going to be packing a pretty big punch. And I think we do need this guy as well. Because we're down bad. For How much do they have? All right, we're going to put a Thanos that's not maxed. So if you guys don't want a Thanos snap, just make sure your Thanos is not maxed. And you should be pretty good to go and you can place all five of the Thanos. Now our Thanos should be doing enough DPS to clear these waves and then uh, we'll have to save up a bunch of money for this bad boy. All right, here we go. Next upgrade, $100,000. What? What? Uh, I, we're, I don't think we're gonna be able to buy it, guys. Basically just gonna make his cooldown go down. But overall, he's, he's he's not the greatest unit, but he's not terrible. Let's go check out the 
but hopefully the last few godlies. All right, here we go. Let's get it. The last three godlies. Oh my gosh, I can't see a dang thing. Maybe we shouldn't have done this map. Yikes. All right, here we go, guys. Some of these maps have gotten so dark. All right, here we go. We got a Tanjiro. Wow, not bad damage. All right, we'll take it. I'd say so far, not bad. He's kind of like another Luffy replacement unit, but you can place three of them, which is pretty nice. Damage wise, though, definitely a lot less than Luffy, but uh, he's also way cheaper than Luffy, too. And if you get discounted on him, he's gonna be like super cheap. All right, here we go. 1,000 for the second upgrade. Let's get some more of these real quick. Pop these off. Bro, discounted on the money units is busted. Oh my gosh, it is crazy good. All right, here we go. Let's get it. All right, get these next upgrades. 2,000 damage. All right, not bad, not bad. 8,000, so he's very expensive. 24,000 for what? For what? I do not remember the gift guy being that expensive. This upgrade better do a gazillion damage because this is ridiculous. What the, what, what, what? For Tanjiro? For the, I don't get it. All right, here we go. And wow. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit disappointing guys not gonna lie but he's not terrible i can't really recommend him though right, i think we already showcased balma one of the best money units in the game i'll show you how much money uh, balma gets per wave real quick all right balma's gonna get you let's see here um 2800 per wave with no um uh, uh trick. renjay's next a lot of damage guys on renjay um i don't know if it's enough though huh why this tundra look like it's doing less damage do they buff each other or something Seven thousand? was that right oh, maybe it is right i don't know what, what happened there anyway all right renjay does some good damage look at oh Oh my gosh that's a lot of damage what's his aoe like dang and he got good aoe too dang renje goes hard if you got discounted on him he would actually be affordable dang actually no you can still afford him on the first wave if you do it right all right and then seventy thousand damage guys with a six cooldown that's actually crazy definitely not better than any ultimates but still a very good unit so there you go guys those are all the um uh, godly units showcased in ultimate tower defense let me know which one down below is your favorite definitely get balma uh definitely get um uh anya and definitely get the shenrons as well